Hey guys, welcome back to Are You Serious? The coolest, most chillest, the trillest young king on a YouTube platform. Not only the young king, the best reaction channel on the YouTube platform. Alright, um, today what we got on the menu is we got Doug Gets Bold with Judge Joe Brown. It's an older video. Maybe y'all saw it, maybe y'all didn't. Don't know if y'all did or not. But I'm gonna go ahead and react to it and see what's popping, all right? Um, y'all go ahead and comment down below what y'all want to see me do. Um, and if y'all don't wanna see this actual video, I'll put the link to the actual video. I mean, if y'all don't see this video, like with me reacting to it, I'll put the link to the actual video down below so y'all can actually watch the full video. But let's go ahead and get into it, all right? Make sure the screen record is on because I ain't got time for no mess. Alright. Lego. What's a man need jewelry for? What's on your finger? Yeah. A hey, hey. wedding ring. It means oh, I, I have a wife. Right. So you can't even stand up straight. You don't. A man's jaw is wired shut after an unnecessary toast to the departed. College student Lazaric Murphy is suing his former friend for medical bills. Defendant Michael Eggleton says he was acting in self-defense. Now, here's Judge Joe Brown. Young Mr. Murphy, you are suing Mr. Eggleton for tortious misconduct and medical expenses. The defendant that accompanied your friend, who was his cousin, appeared to be inebriated and for some reason uh, started pouring the contents of a bottle all over your floor. You asked him what he was doing, he became angry and said, it's for my dead homies. <laughs> you were they talking to home. his cousin, you they turned around, and unexpectedly he sucker punched you and hit you square in the jaw. And broke your jaw. Damn. And you went to the emergency room, winding up eventually having your jaw wired shut for four weeks. Damn. Very intriguing. Yeah. That nigga hit here, oh. Judge Joe Brown. All right, and, sir. And basically, me and Mike, we've been friends for over 10 years. We played sports together. <coughs> we went to school together. I got him in college. And, you know, I tried to be a positive influence to him because, you know, I go to school. I got my own crib, got my own car, got a job. And, you know, I tried to show him something different. On this particular day last year, we were chilling at my house. We were supposed to go hook up with some girls. It was me, him, and his cousin. And basically, Michael, he got upset. Well, he wasn't even upset, but he just was playing too much. And he, all of a sudden, he, he ended up what? pouring out uh, Well, I lotion. get the impression from what you allege that there was a consumption of alcoholic <laughs> beverages that was going on. Right. I had some liquor in my refrigerator. But well, you're over 21, so what? You're entitled to. Yes, sir. Right. And basically, He's not, drunk. but yes, go sir. ahead. And basically, he got my lotion or off my kitchen table, and he just started pouring on the floor, talking about lotion. this for his dead homies. Then he got my liquor. <laughs> he started pouring it on the floor, talking sure. about this is for his dead homies. <laughs> and I told him to clean it up. He took his time. He act like it wasn't that important. So I felt disrespected. There's a reason for everything, Judge. But let him make his presentation. Go ahead, sir. And Judge Joe Brown, basically, he poured the liquor and the lotion on my floor, said it was for his dead homies. I told him to clean, it, clean up his mess. He act like he didn't want to clean up the mess. And I told him that I, was, I wasn't going to go to the girl's house anymore. I wasn't even on it no more because clearly they ha I felt disrespected. So... Now you didn't want to take him over to a lady friends with him. I mean, we all like were supposed yeah. to see some girls, you know what I'm saying? But I, was, I didn't even want to go no more because I'm like, why would you disrespect me <coughs> and pour liquor and lotion on my floor? Who does that? Uh, and basically, idiot. I refused to take anybody anywhere. So in the midst of me refusing, all of a sudden I got assaulted by him. And you then, say you turned around. What happened? Yes, sir, because you, I was turned around. I was upset. I was about to go upstairs. And uh, on my way turned around, he just all of a sudden socked me in my face. He was about to go upstairs. So basically, after he, right. after he socked me and start, uh, uh, start assaulting me or whatever, I started bleeding everywhere. His cousin tried to get him to leave. Okay. He refused to leave, Your Honor. And basically, he told his cousin, like, 
if I'm about to go to jail because his cousin told him, like, look, I got a gun on me, let's go, let's just leave. And I guess that was his way just trying to get him to leave because he... Yeah, look, I'm holding, don't get the police up in here right. and get me yes, busted. Sir. But he didn't have one. So anyway. then he told me if I'm going to jail, I might as well go for life. So when I, I went outside because I didn't have a weapon or nothing to what defend myself. Fuck? And I'm bleeding everywhere, Your Honor. And when I go outside, I just happened to see the police. They was coming up in my door. I told him that he was in my house and he fled the scene. I, my cousin ended up coming Shit, there, the say? ambulance came. They I'm told me that my jaw too. wasn't broken, just put a hot pack on my face. Okay, well you went to the emergency room and the report reflects that in fact it was fractured and yes, you had sir, to get wired shut. All right, pass yeah. up your medicals and et cetera, et cetera, all right. And I have a witness statement from my cousin and I have- Well, there's even an x-ray that shows what happened and some description from the hospital about what the injury was all about. All right. So it was the wires and a number of other such things. Did you miss any time off from <clears throat> work? No, sir. You went to work anyway. Let's say you are a major in psychology and you are assisting the direction of the work study program at your college, right? Yes, all Your right. Honor. Thank you. Let's go to the defendant. Now you have the floor. <clears throat> well, like he said, we was in college. I mean, yeah, but so, you dropped out and you're unemployed. Nah. He's employed and still <laughs> matriculating in college. I'm in college, like I said, anyways. You no, know you me? list your like occupation as oh, unemployed. Yeah, unemployed. Yeah, I'm a student. Right. Well, yeah. you don't list yeah. student either. You aren't going okay. right now. Anyways. Like man, it's, it's not in the, the middle of the school semester, like but you would do. story, man. You feel me? We was in college. You oh, you don't talk over me. Go ahead. He got his own career. You know what I mean? So... I was paying him to stay with him, you know what I'm saying? My little cousin came over, you feel me? And we little, you know what I'm saying? Just how little animals is, they want to play you and stuff, you went to college you feel me? and you're talking so, yeah, like you know that, bro. Right? You trying to act so, like a hood rat. It don't matter, you feel me? Well, we was playing anyway. <laughs> What's your problem? Are playing. you trying to we perpetrate that you were a hood rat? My cousin wanted to play rat? with me, so you're talking I over me. with him. Right. You see, there's one difference. I'm not him. Oh, my God. Now, when you start going from God. bad, let me tell you something. See, you cold cocked him, you sucker punched him. Yeah, win, lose, or draw. Yeah, I fight. Yeah. I'm trying Damn. to help you out so somebody doesn't kill your right. fool self. And, you try to, and I'm See, trying let's to try this. You got a cloud of death hanging over your head because you've been failing. Somebody right. tried to get your tacky head so self what? off in yeah. college, and you running around here trying to perpetrate that you're so an ignorant what? hood rat that got as far as college, but you can't talk anymore. <laughs> Well, you're trying to talk about my dead homies. See, that doesn't bother right. me because, and excuse you me. You listen to his side of the story, but you excuse didn't me. listen to my side of the you story. Dead homies, I never you hit said him. that. What's your excuse I mean, for hitting him? Hmm? What's your excuse my for hitting him? My excuse for hitting him is because he put his hands on me first, sir. Yeah. He was telling me. Well, he, he was had a right to he was take hands upon him, him and throw the dog house. behind out the front door. I told him I was That's leaving That's what a bounce it up. I told him I was leaving his house, you know what I'm saying? He tried to push me out, literally, you know what I'm saying? I'd so, have thrown you out. Right. <laughs> and then, you know what I'm saying, I would have came back and you would have dealt with it. That's I'm trying, to, I'm trying to keep, keep you from speech. dying, foolish you know one. I, mean? I don't care about dying, sir. You feel me? Damn. That's one thing about me and you. You probably care. I don't care. Damn. We'll be right back with Judge Joe Brown. He put his hands on me, trying to put me out his house and you feel me? I didn't never said I hit the dude. We supposed to be talking about the case and you talking about me. You hit him. But I ain't the one walking around with a dress on, you feel me? Jack you up. You said oh. you hit him. He said, you said he put said hands on that. me. He could you have, you that. were unruly, he could eject you. That's what he did. You said that so I you hit, hit him. him. I never said that I hit the dude, you feel me? Know what I'm saying? He put his hands on me, trying to put me out his house and you feel me? I didn't never say that I hit the dude. We supposed to be talking about the case and you talking about me. You, you hit me? him. But I ain't the one walking around with a dress on, you feel me? So, I mean, oh, nah, we man, going there. you feel me? Well, okay, you feel me? let's take what you got on. I know. First time I saw him. <laughs> he about to start roasting this nigga, You been nigga, listening bro. to your 14 year old aunt talk nigga. about she wants bling. What's a man need jewelry for? What's, What's on your finger? Long... What's on your finger? Well, look, my man. Yeah, yeah. That is you a married? wedding ring. It means right, I have Mr. a wife. Mr. It Mr. means I, know. I, know. I don't I'm have any problems. So you no cap. DeAndre, you my boy, I love you. You my kinfolk. 
That nigga kind of remind me of you, bro. I ain't gonna cap. Like I said, no disrespect. I don't want no issues with you. But he remind me of you, bro. I don't like you. Don't try to be no hood nigga or nothing. Like I'm just saying, like I don't know. Like you be talking shit. Like I like when you talk your shit, cause like you don't give a fuck, and you supposed to not give a fuck in certain instances. You know what I'm saying? And uh, but this point in time, the nigga supposed to give a fuck, but he don't. And he still talking his shit. I don't know if he crazy, stupid, or dumb. Well, all three, but he talked, he fucking with the wrong one. You are not that tough. But you see, the bottom line is this. These young boys are so desperately in need of men to give them man training. <laughs> Don't talk about like, like you know who my parents are. Oh, I like know you. you. Grew up I can people. see you. How Best many thousands playing, of man. you do you think I have not seen? Man. So what makes you any different from the other thug That's idiots word, trying man. to perpetrate their men? See, you can't even stand up straight. You gonna... Because it's not even a case no more, it's about yeah. me. So you, you know want to I mean? move your head? Yeah, it's, it's a case. It's, it's I'm not just even deciding how much no punitive more. damages I'm going to hit you with. Oh, yeah. <laughs> damn. Jack you up. <laughs> and you run around here talking about what you can live off of and you have no job, you're not in school, you have all that women's jewelry hung around your neck because in your subconscious when you work with five or six and nobody has seen a man in four or five generations and if you ask your mother why uh why don't you you need a man to help raise me i don't understand judge what's good's a man for well there you go little lady you don't even know what he's supposed to be good for how are you gonna raise him to be a man <laughs> see it falls through the cracks you running around acting like a hood rat trying to talk about libation to my dead homies Wait until we get on to the case, man. You feel me? Yeah, no case. You You've already about, done man. it. Get together what? with it. Hey, yeah. you feel me? Because I'm finna walk out, man. You can't control yourself. So he's uh, got the... You're his best witness. You can't control yourself. You're not man enough to control yourself. You played punk and you sucker punched him. If it's been a fair fight and bigger than you might have whipped your butt. Remember, you so. both played athletics together. So. That means he's got as much you going as you do so. in that Come department. On, See, you Honestly. punked out and sucker punch him because you don't know what in the hell a fair fight is. Hey, you know what I'm saying? 3,000 in your like cost. This. Get this punk hey. out of my face. He's illustrated his punk as well enough. Bye. This courtroom is now in it was clear the defendant wanted to be felt, but he was so disrespectful, it was hard to relate to his dilemma and his like efforts to hey. honor his deceased friends. He'll pay. Bro, that was... Great. <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all, that was funny as heck. Hey, now I see why everybody was talking about it, bro. I kept seeing it popping up a while back. And I'm like, man, I gotta react to it, man. Anyway, um, what did I say? Certified Goon Girls Cuts the Hell? I might have to watch another one of these. I don't know. If y'all want to see another one, go ahead and comment down below. If not, I'm probably going to watch it anyway. It depends on how I feel. But anyway, it's the end of the video. Uh, let me know what's next. If y'all don't want to see whatever y'all want to see, I'm going to just see what I want to see. And y'all got to just deal with it. I'm trying to let this be about all of us. But if y'all want it just to be about me, that's cool. We can work that out too. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to run that bitch to the top. With it without you. All right? I prefer with you. All right? It's all love, and I love y'all, and I'll catch y'all in the next one, all right? Deuces. Bye!